Okay, so these two stands are in. They're starting to cost me some money. I need to get this going on. Uh, you see, I've already built a jetway here. If you click on this, you go to upgrade, you can upgrade it to the jetway. That way people can actually use the jetway like it's meant to be. Then I'll go ahead and put a boarding desk on this guy as well. Medium sized. And give it a little gap here and ammo. So I got a boarding desk for both of those getting built. Construction is uh, finally coming together. I've got fuel. Need to get a truck, a fuel truck, and a luggage truck for this depot number two up here. So the way we do that is to go into procurement, and I want to order the Maverick truck for A1. I'll get the big one. So. Maverick A1 right here and I'll go ahead and get belt loader let's get one of those for now and I'll also get one push truck for now I only have two and I'll get uh, Two of these large uh, trucks here for my um, my luggage. Let's get two of those, and then we have to assign them to this side over here. This is Depot Two, so I have to go to my vehicles, and I'm going to assign to a depot. So assign to Depot Two. Right. You are also going to be assigned to depot number two. You are also going to be assigned to depot number two. So that's good, I think, right? Yeah. I don't have my luggage car yet. So when I get those, those will also be assigned. Here they are. Depot number two. Depot number two. Now this is the question. Can these guys get to where they need to be? There no vehicles there yet. If the fuel truck was allowed to come in. Will they allow these guys to come in? Right now they're probably over here. Well, they're just getting here, so. A little bit of a traffic jam going on. This guy, is he coming back to his right place? Is he just confused as hell? They all look confused. I think that's why the connection is necessary. Wait, no. Is he leaving? Figure it out, buddy. No, nope, can't figure it out. Alright, so I need to go ahead and... As much as I hate to do this, even temporarily... You know, I'm just going to make a grass one. So it can just be as temporary as possible. I'm just going to make it... One lane road. And it's just so they can get over there and do the damn jobs. So that's kind of a bummer. Unforeseen. You know, lessons learned. You learn by doing. And uh, I, definitely, I definitely did that. So let's talk about luggage so that's going to be a, a part that we need to do so get our luggage going here need a couple more security guards it looks like so we can go ahead and hire some people staff applicants wait a minute I push the wrong thing yeah. security hire 
for these people. You don't have to be happy to do security. Nobody is. Alright, so we'll let this construction here get working, and then we'll think about our luggage here. Alright, so let's build our first little um, conveyor belt system for picking up luggage. So we'll start here. I'm going to start with the tilt tray. And it's going to be in this area, so we'll say tilt tray. It'll be right there. Now nah, let's push it further back. And then we'll do our large overground. Make it go this way. Well, I said that. Let's do this, shall we? Let's do this correctly. Tilt tray going that way. Kind of right in the middle. And then above ground. Also going this way. Turn it. Just like that. And the reason for that is because my underground is going to go to the tilt tray. Just like that. And that will be area number one. But I don't want people walking in the middle, so I usually put plants. Large plants here. Come on. There we go. So that's luggage area one. Now we have to connect luggage area one to this guy over here. So where does your luggage come in, sir? Go to conveyor belts. Go to underground you go out this way. So, we'll go out. All the way to the wall. Right there. Yep. And then we'll turn you down this way. Go in here. bam -o. Now those are connected. But they're going to have to cross right so that's why the tilt tray is so important and I'll do the tilt tray here as a matter of fact so we'll take this guy there out no conveyor tilt tray right there there we go and then this guy will be above ground. We'll have them go there and there. And then we'll have the underground here. Alright. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but functional at this point. Uh, and so now we got to connect that underground all the way over. So again, we'll go back to the underground right here. And it's one gap between the two. So we'll go all the way down. So there. And then we have to make that connect to our desk. So we'll just take it to this wall. Luggage is going to take quite a journey to 
get to its final destination. We'll come all the way down here. Connect it right there. And then we just gotta connect it at the desks. So we'll do that. Go down there. Go there. So as the luggage comes off of all these, they'll dump onto the conveyor belt system and it will be ready to go. So now our luggage system should work. Super duper happy with what's going on here. There's not much choice, to be completely honest, and that should work. Okay, so let's start connecting some stuff together here. This guy can be connected to him. It looks like he already is. I didn't do that. I wonder if it automatically does that now. This boarding desk stand is deactivating, cannot board passengers. Okay. Yeah, it automatically connects them now. That's nice. The game's made itself a little bit easier. You just have to do all that stuff manually. Alright, so this guy is good. Do I need to connect this? Yes. Connect that to him. Okay. And that should be it. Can I open these guys now? Ah! Excellent. What about you? Yes. Alright, so this is good. This is good. We can start boarding flights. But before we can do that, we're going to have to get some big commercial airlines in here. So let's go back to our procurement. Nope, contracts. You can see we got some larger <clears throat> airlines now. Now I had a mod that had real airlines. I don't really see any of the real airlines in here yet. And the airlines we already have may have big planes too. So I'm going to hang off on that just for a second. Let the rest of this construction get done. Well, it looks like flights are already coming in. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a cluster. Going to have a lot of unhappy people until this all gets done. A lot of unhappy. Look at all these people. Wow. So yeah, this is this is uh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have some unhappy folks until we can get everything going. All right, my little road is completed, so now these guys can get in here and get to work. And my planes are coming in. My uh, baggage is still not complete. Oh man, I was worried about that. They really should be able to cross this path right here. Ugh, dude. Killing me, bro. Killing me. Oh man. Oh well, because I don't have it connected. I am what they call a moron. So let's actually connect these, shall we? Oh man, hindsight's 2020. These guys are all getting confused. Alright, so these people need a place to sit down. So let's start with that. Let's give them some seating. These large ones here. And we'll start it. No. I know there are problems right now. I know we have problems at the airport. We're working on them though. We need some janitors. Alright, so let's get seating. Right there. Get more seating. Right here. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know there's no path yet. 
we're working on that. Let's make sure too, because I didn't tell these other vehicles where to go. Let's make sure these guys know that they need to be in Depot 1. Just in case. No. Alright, so we'll let this construction happen. See if we can't make these people a little happier. Man, I really am an idiot sometimes. Just need to slow down and take my time. Because I just built the wrong thing there. This needs to be a service road. Yeah, that'll actually help the service vehicles get where they want to go. And now that we're getting flights, we need to go ahead and do this. It's going to cause a little bit of heartburn, possibly, but we got to get these things in here as well. Get a couple car stops. And I also want to get a train over here. And our luggage system is almost ready. Looks like we need more security as well. Hired a couple janitors. So let's see if this doesn't fix the problem here. Of course, these flights will suffer. But we'll see what the other flights do. We're still making money. Oh yeah, the road open. Those guys can make their way through. Excellent. I'm going to need a lot more of the uh, gate agents. I'm just going to hire a ton of them. Matter of fact, if you're looking for a job, you're going to get one with me right now. Gate agent, a couple more security, a couple more technicians. gonna have to have people work oh you know not only that but we also need to have just regular old airport workers we got a lot of desks so we just upped our employee budget quite a bit <clears throat> oh, no, no, don't delay them Taking me back yet? Don't see any bags being taken yet? Let's see. Plane came in. Where's our luggage? Oh, I'm an idiot. You have to tell it that you want to do luggage, baggage handling, on. So now, no, no, don't delay him. We'll catch back up. There's a lot of people sitting here. Might need another row of seating. So the next planes that come in should be seeing some baggage. All right, we've got a new plane coming in. Let's see if we take any baggage off this plane. No? Hmm. Why is that? Baggage car's there. I do not like those fuel trucks coming all the way across the airport to fuel up the plane. I don't like that at all. I told it to destroy that road. It looks like it did. This guy's now trapped over here. Let me disappear. That's fine. 
No, he's trapped. Oh, excellent. Jeez, man. One thing after another. I guess I'm not going to have any choice. I guess they're just going to have to be connected. I don't want to lose that fuel over on the other side. That seems like a, a situation that should be corrected. I don't think that that's how it should work, but... Again, I'm not the developer of the game. So let's go ahead and get a... Reconnect that service road. For now. I don't understand why they don't have fuel. We got trucks right here. Oh, my other truck's tra trapped on the other side. Excellent. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to have a lot of fuel trucks. And that's just all there is to it. I really don't know about the baggage, though. That's open. It's active. We're accepting baggage, right? Baggage handling system is good. These people are just hanging around. almost completed again. There you go. Now you can go back home. Baggage is a real question. Can they not cross this? The fuel trucks can. And they should be totally able to cross that. Okay, I finally got it connected. So we should be able to do baggage on these planes now. What's his status? You see we got our baggage carts going now, as they should, but we don't have any people working here. I've already told them to give me two on each side, but maybe they just can't find their workstation. You should be able to. Need to go ahead and give these people some place to sit while they're waiting to leave. So we'll do that right here, just put some seating. You see, my baggage is coming off the plane. Why are there no people here working this thing? I should have a ton of people. A ton of gate agents. I wonder if I still don't have enough. I certainly don't have anybody here. Well, let's hire some more gate agents. It does take a lot of them. And we'll just hire everybody we can. Okay. Just don't see why we don't have gate agents here. I think I might know what's going on here. Security, no. I didn't, I don't think I made this a staff area. Nope, sure didn't. So there you go, staff zone, and now these people should be able to come in here and do their damn job. off the plane. Still no staff. Oh man, that does not make any sense to me. I will be willing to bet it's because it's not a security zone. What do you want to bet? So I add security to this as well. 
now. We'll see if our people don't show up. Hopefully they will. There you go, that was it. Needs to be secure and a staff area. And I knew that, and I just lost it in my brain. Too many games, I guess. But now we can get these guys loading and unloading baggage the way they should, and this should make this actually work properly. So I'll keep an eye on this and see if we have any other problems going on. All right, well, we're still far from perfect. Got a lot of work to do, but we're kind of reaching the uh, end of the episode. I'm about to run out of time, so I hope you have enjoyed this. We'll watch a flight come all the way in and go through the process and all the steps, and then we'll call this video a day. So you see we got this plane departing, going up to the departure runway. No traffic problems yet. I mean, we only have two big gates. So he's going to take off, and then we'll have another plane come in. And that plane will be the one we track. So these are my runways where they land. Of course, I said he's coming in. I don't see a plane coming in, but there should be one. But they were right on top of each other earlier. But it is the middle of the night, I guess. So we have a plane landing, taxiing down, two runways to choose from. This is FA-692 from Mount Washington. It's coming from, uh, it's like coming from DC there. So we're going to come down, and the inspection process is going to start. We're going to have to fuel this guy. You can see the passengers getting off. Got luggage going in. Fuel going in the plane. The problem is I don't see any passengers getting on <laughs> this plane. But definitely taking the luggage off right now. Boarding has not started. I don't know that anybody's getting on this damn plane. That's strange. Got plenty of staff. Everything's ready to go. Just doesn't have any passengers. And this, you know, this could be a bug also. When I stop my recording, I use the uh, F10 key to do that, and that's also the debug for this game. So it's probably my fault, that might have caused an error, but you can see the plane took off, he's on time. I don't think there's anybody in there, but it's a good start. So we've made a lot of progress in this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, maybe the subscribe. If you want to see more Airport CEO, let me know. These are, these are cool. This video turned out to be kind of a cluster. A lot of learning involved in making these big airports, but I think once I get these uh, little road bumps covered up, we'll be good to go. We're obviously going to make a ton of money from now on. So like I said, hope you enjoyed it. My name's Jehovah, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.